Greetings, YouTube. Although the word greetings is a friendly word that implies a welcome, and this video really isn't that friendly. It's more kind of shockingly horrified. And, you know, just to give you an idea, I I've said this time and time again. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. I hate Alliance War with a passion. I think it's pretty much a Ponzi scheme. No matter how great the rewards are, you're going to get burnt out. You're going to be around so much pressure that you're going to eventually want to quit the game or at least leave an alliance because you're spending so many thousands of units at the top worth of boosts and doing really, really shady things to gain an advantage, like piloting, which allegedly has been somewhat controlled by Kabam, even though I was always a bit skeptical of that because it's sort of the classic case scenario of if you upgrade to handguns, they'll get semi-automatics, and then if you get semi-automatics, they'll get automatics. Basically, that analogy points to the fact that whenever you close a loophole of cheating, someone somewhere will find a new loophole and make it even harder. And uh, it, it's amazing to me that this happens because this is still a freaking mobile video game. You can't get anywhere, at least not that I know of, from being at the top of this. It's not like you're suddenly, if you're in the top alliance in the world, going to be invited to some exclusive opportunity like, I don't know, becoming prime minister or president or something. That's a terrible example, but you get the idea. And yet, the idea is, psychologically speaking, and this happens with so many things, once you are at the top, you will do anything possible to stay at the top. It doesn't matter the ethical costs that you have to basically subvert yourself to in order to keep the power. And so this story, which is truly freaking crazy, from this um, user, is going to detail in the ISO 8A alliance uh, what happened with the screenshot. And when you see this, you will notice that this... Uh, Hunginium? I don't know if that's how you pronounce that BS, but basically, look at all of those legends, right? Including my boy Killer Moth. No idea who that is, but if you got Quake as your main profile pick, you gotta be doing something amazing. Uh, all, kicked everybody. And I don't know the specifics, even though I'm going to read what the post says. Those cannot be validated until I interview sources, and I'm probably never gonna do that, but that's my journalism mentality, right? I want to gather at least three sources before I come up with a definitive story behind reason. But this screenshot, if it's true, and I have no reason to think that anyone would Photoshop something like this, there, there is no debating that these people will be kicked and unable to claim those top-tier master rewards of Alliance War. That is pretty much the most amazing rewards in the game. I also, can I just point this out? This irony is so apparent to me. In the description of this 26 million rated alliance, it says, in words, no drama, period. Can you believe that? <laughs> I, uh, I, I think it's so ironic that there's no drama intended in the description, and yet this is probably the most dramatic thing I've ever seen to happen. And uh, I, my phrase is not alone, because... Let's read Regal 3's post. Piloting is back and it is worse than ever before. Now people are buying iPads, which are, you know, four or five hundred bucks, for pilots to avoid detection. I'm guessing that means they can turn off the IP address or get rid of it or something. I don't know. This sounds like some Jason Bourne, Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible level BS. I will have more on this at a later date. Ooh, that sounds like a preview. But what happened today was probably the worst, most crazy thing I have ever heard of on a mobile game like this, or any game at all. Today an alliance was losing a war, and this alliance paid someone to log into their opponent's accounts and kick people who still had fights left to complete. Now if that is true, and again I don't have a way of verifying this, that is insane. I want to know first of all, because there's going to be some backlash to this, who has the logins to everybody that will allow them to do this? And I get at the very top, People are going to be flat out insistent that someone that you trust that's an officer has a login in order for you to have the ability to not hold up the alliance in emergency settings. But it sounds like in this case, uh, you have the logins because you're giving them to people on iPads 
from maybe far away to win your fights for you. Just, just crazy. Anyhow, back to the post. This is the most, in caps, uh, erogious? We're just going to say most insane thing. That could have happened as these people who were kicked today will no longer qualify for season rewards. Just mention that. Now, one of two things happened. And one of two things is true. Either the losing team paid this one guy, the account owner, to kick all these players, and this guy needs a permanent ban. Well, if that's true, absolutely. Or this account, the losing team exploited, was using an arena merc or some other form of piloting service like so many are now with this ability to buy a new device for the merc slash pilot and avoid detection. And the losing team paid the merc to do the dirty work and not the actual account owner. Man, no drama though, right guys? No drama. Kabam has the ability to see what happened. They can be like Heimdall. I added that line, obviously. We all know that funny business, and I think funny business is what happens when you're chilling at the water cooler with coworkers, not buying thousands of dollars worth of iPads to basically sneak around Kabam. And most likely on both sides, unfortunately. Whatever happened, it is 100% not good for the game overall, and this sort of stuff needs much more oversight. Alliance War Seasons has really brought out the worst in people. The best rewards in the game will be lost to a few because of the greed of others. Kabam, please don't let greed keep this quiet. Well, Kabam, I guess the ball is in your court. If you have more information or are concerned about what happened, and how it affects your ability to progress in this game, please post on this topic. It is very important to voice your thoughts on things like this, or nothing will change. Well, that's also why I'm making this video. Um, okay, so let's kind of break down what it is that I just read for you. If you don't like to read, I guess you enjoy these kind of videos, because I read for you, even if I can't pronounce words that start with an E and have more than one syllable. First off, it blows my mind that people will literally buy really expensive devices that a lot of people in this world couldn't afford to use on their own for things like school in order to step around the detection that Kabam uses to flag whether or not someone is piloting another account. It doesn't exactly shock me that that's possible because I see that kind of stuff happen in FBI movies all the time. But the fact that it's used for a mobile video game that is absolutely not going to take you anywhere in life but maybe uh, bankrupt at this kind of point is uh it's just crazy right it's truly crazy and it's also crazy that these people are putting their trust and their their account logins in the hands of someone that can so easily be bought out be bribed maybe even blackmailed who knows to use that power to kick people out of an alliance that uh really is designed and has the reputation of getting the best rewards and the top rewards in the game. This is also another reason why I have to say this over and over again. Another very justified reason why I hate Alliance War is that the current system doesn't give anyone a pro-rated ability to claim rewards because these people that got kicked now should have some way to get credit for the rewards that they were in and all of the Alliance Wars up to this point. Just because a lot, the, the season has not ended yet does not mean that those people should not lose the ability to qualify. And yet, because of the way that we know it's currently set up with rewards, if you aren't there for the minimum amount and still in the Alliance, you don't get the rewards. They should be prorated. That should not be hard for Kabam to do. And then at least these people could take solace knowing that the Alliance Wars that they fought in are not for nothing. I can't even imagine at this tier how many thousands and thousands of units worth of potions and maybe revives and certainly boosts were used to, to win. Now you're just throwing all of that out the window in the worst way possible. I, I just think Alliance War Seasons have been the death of this game in so many ways. We've seen the worst of the community, and we've also seen the worst of Kabam and their response to things that would, in any other case, get people straight up prison time, especially when you consider how many uh, people allegedly cheated and used credit card fraud in order to maximize their units for items that they could then use in Alliance War. 
And yet, because a lot of these people are still keeping the lights on at Kabam, they are not going to be incentivized to out these people and report them. And so really, it's one of those scenarios where as crazy as this is, I really don't expect anything to happen to this person because I expect Kabam to uh, continue to really turn a blind eye for the accounts that bring in the most cash. But at the same time, we do have, if we scroll up, the exact name of the uh, account, Hunginium. So I'm sure you can look up this person in a friends list and see what their account looks like. Hell, I'll probably do that at some point. But what do you think of this? I, I think it is crazy, psychologically, that you could be playing a mobile video game and somebody would stoop to this level just so that they can tell themselves they're the best in the world at something that's not exactly going to uh, mean a whole lot outside of the gaming community. But then again, psychologically speaking, when you are so used to being at the top of the mountain, you don't want to get kicked off of the mountain and you will do whatever it takes, even if you turn into this primal instincts where you lose your ethical standards and your lapses of judgment continue to cloud your brain and you make the kind of things that on paper are, uh, are things that you should never think about and never do, but you justify them. So I just want to leave this, vi this video with two words, the irony of the night for Alliance War and for the entire summer that was Kabam's dumpster fire to the community. We have promised no drama.